in the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, or ELCA, we believe all people are created equally in the image of God. God intends for everyone to flourish, but because of the sin of sexism, women are often deprived of that right. As God's people, we believe we're called to seek justice and equity for all. But what does that mean for us today? And how are Lutherans responding? In the Bible, we read that God is always at work, transforming and inspiring us to new ways of living, ways that more fully embody God's intention for all people to have abundant life. The ELCA's new social statement, Faith, Sexism, and Justice, A Call to Action, confesses patriarchy and sexism as sin and identifies ways to address these issues in both the church and society. Social statements provide a framework for our church to think about, discuss, teach, and act on social issues. Take a pressing issue and explore it through scripture, Lutheran theology, and social analysis, and you've got a social statement. The creation of a social statement is a process that involves the input and approval of thousands of people from across the entire church over several years. At the heart of our Lutheran faith is the belief that we don't have to earn the gift of God's love. God claims and heals us and also transforms our relationships with others. God calls us to love neighbors as ourselves. In society, this neighbor love takes the form of neighbor justice. This social statement claims that acting justly within our families, the church, and society for the common good is central to what God is doing in the world. The Lutheran commitment to neighbor justice compels us to expose how patriarchy and sexism cause harm to all of creation. Oh. Throughout history, women and girls have suffered harm and injustice due to sex, gender, or both. This has roots in patterns of power, privilege, and prejudice within a patriarchy. Say that three times fast. There are very real consequences of a system centered on men including gender-based violence, pay inequality, restricted access to healthcare and economic resources, denial of educational opportunities, objectifying portrayals of women in media. Sound familiar? If not, maybe ask a woman in your life or just a woman nearby for an example. I'll give you a second. Wow, that was quick. You get the idea. Patriarchy is a social system that gives men more authority and power than women. It doesn't mean that males are bad or that males are the only ones supporting this system. Everyone participates in it, knowingly and unknowingly. And even though men and boys often benefit in a patriarchal society, it's harmful when anyone is expected to conform to a narrow gender stereotype. <laughs> it's not. The problem is complicated by intersecting factors beyond sexism. Some of these include race, ethnicity, economic status, age, ability, and education. This reality is known as intersectionality. Our support for women and girls must be inclusive of all identities and their intersecting factors. The Christian tradition is both a challenge and a resource when it comes to addressing sexism. And let me tell you, it's been a big challenge. It's no secret the Christian church has been complicit in the sins of sexism and patriarchy. Scripture has been misused to oppress women. 
Biblical texts say things about women and girls that we now recognize as harmful. There are directives in biblical passages concerning women's behavior, hairstyles, jewelry, and clothing. And some churches deny women positions of leadership based on their interpretation of scripture. Some aspects of the scriptures reflect the cultures and societies in which they arose. But a Lutheran reading, centered on Christ, frees us from taking all the scriptures only literally. We don't have to conform to the social and cultural practices of the ancient world. Lutherans have always been reformers, and we can reform the Christian tradition to challenge the complexities of sexism. No. Based on what we read in the Bible, we believe God is an infinite mystery beyond human comprehension and beyond gender. When we think of God with only male-oriented language and images, it restricts our understanding. In the scriptures, God is also described as a mother in labor, a rock, a hen, and a bear. God is not literally any of these, just as God is not literally a man or a father. Jesus was human, and some have argued that the maleness of Jesus justifies sexism. But we believe Jesus' humanity is what matters to us, not his gender. Well, no solutions are easy or quick since the problems of patriarchy and sexism are complex and deeply rooted in our society. But Lutherans believe social structures should be continually reassessed and held accountable for change. The ELCA has hope for justice, grounded in God's desire for the flourishing of creation. We are committed to using inclusive language for people and for God, developing and supporting practices that promote equitable leadership, advocating for economic justice, including equitable pay and benefits for all women. The Faith, Sexism, and Justice Social Statement names a number of areas, but statistically, we're limited by short YouTube attention spans. So here are the highlights. Promote policies that respect diverse bodies rather than devalue them. Advocate for medical research and affordable health care services for all, including reproductive health care. Lift up diverse understandings of social and economic roles that aren't dictated by sex and gender. We are a church that actively participates in God's work in the world and we invite you to join us in the work for gender justice. The ELCA is the largest Lutheran denomination in the United States. Find one of our 9,000 congregations near you today at elca.org.